molecular versus empirical formula. What's the difference? How do we calculate each of these? Let's start at the beginning. What's the difference between a molecular formula and an empirical formula? A molecular formula is a chemical formula that gives the type of atoms present in that molecule or compound and the number of atoms present in that molecule or compound. So think, for example, of something like water, H2O. This molecular formula tells me that water, the compound water, has two hydrogens, H2, and one oxygen. CO2, for example, CO2, that tells me that carbon dioxide has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms in that compound. This is what we call the molecular formula. But then what's the empirical formula? An empirical formula is basically the simplest version of a formula. If you're given the following molecular formula, C6H12O6, for those of you that do biology, you will recognize that this is the molecular formula for glucose. What this molecular formula tells us is that glucose has six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. I can ask you, however, for the empirical formula of glucose. And essentially what I'm asking is for you to simplify the ratio of the atoms. So what I have is I have 6 to 12 to 6. I can simplify this ratio by finding the biggest number that can divide into all three of these numbers without leaving a remainder or a decimal. And that would be 6. If I divide each of these by 6, I get the following. 1 to 2 to 1. If I now write my formula, C1, H2, O, 1, this is what I call my empirical formula for glucose. The proper definition of empirical formula is the empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of atoms within a compound. If I, for example, give you the following molecular formula, I have four phosphorus atoms, 10 oxygen atoms in this compound, and I ask you for the empirical formula, I will be simplifying the 4 to 10 ratio. What is the biggest number that can divide into 4 and 10 without a remainder? 2. So divide 4 by 2, we get P2. Divide 10 by 2, we get O5. We can't simplify that any further, so my empirical formula is P2O5. Again, it's just the simplest version of the formula. But how do we calculate the empirical formula or the simplest version of the formula? I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the empirical formula by going from the mass or percentage composition. Then we will look at how to take our empirical formula and convert it into the molecular formula. 